You've managed to get an investor interested into your business plan. So this means you can perhaps go to the next step, which is negotiating a term sheet. What is a term sheet? A term sheet is a document that compiles the key legal terms and economic terms of the investment deal. Where do you need to pay attention to in negotiating a term sheet? We've already alluded to the pre-money valuation, hence the value of the company before the money of the investors goes in. Obviously, there is also something called the post-money valuation, which is the total value at the end of the investment process of the company. What is also important is something called the cap table or capitalization table. This is a list of all the different parties involved and their respective contribution in the shareholding structure of the company, which allows you to track the shareholding positions of the different investors. So you need to agree on the shareholding positions on the different, in, of the different investors. Going further in your negotiation, investors will discuss with you certain legal terms. One of the most important but market conform terms is the liquidation preference. Because in a high risk environment, investors want to get their money back first because they take the risk of putting a lot of money into your venture. Please take care negotiating a liquidation preference because it has an impact when things go not as planned. You might end up getting less money out of the company than the capitalization table initially allows you to have. An investor will discuss with you some other terms like the right of first negotiation, like anti-dilution preferences, like whatever. Huh? Most of these terms, you can find them on the internet, in documentation, in books on raising venture capital. And most of the time, not that much discussion is needed to agree on those particular terms because they are quite market standard. Last but not least, it is important to structure the governance of the company because you need to align multiple parties with multiple interests and that will be reflected in the decision making of the company. And decision making is done in the board of directors. So the composition of the board is important, who is in the board is important and what the board decides upon is important. If you've completed your negotiation, you're ready to sign. You're ready to sign if you think that there is a fair deal on the table and that all your interests and the interests of all parties on the table are compensated in a fair manner. This doesn't mean that you need to tick off all the boxes and all the points you want, because sometimes negotiating is giving and taking a little bit. So if you think all you've negotiated is fair, you can sign and then the story really begins.